Today I'm going to be doing a deck profile for my 6 Samurai deck following the March 2013 ban list. For the monsters, one Kagemu should be 6 Samurai. I'm going to bump it up to 3 within the next week if I need to. Which, in the deck build, if you have Kagemusha, I'll explain it later, sorry. Two Elders, two Kagekis, three Kizans, mean Kizan, two Anishi, two Hand of the Six Samurai, two Great Shoguns, <coughs> Two Grandmasters, Shinai, Mizuho, Yoraiza, Yaichi, Shien Squire, Spirit of the Six Samurai, Anishi Shien's Chancellor, Zanji, Shien's Daredevil, and One Gores. <coughs> so, for the traps, Two Magatamas, two double edged sword techniques, one Thunder Blast, one Rivalry of Warlords, one Six Style Dual Wield, one Return of the Six Samurai, and one Swift Strike Army. For the spells, two Smoke Signal. I'm gonna add a third one tomorrow or today. You don't really need to, because reinforcement of the army. One gateway, one solidarity in case you want to boost up the samurai more, one monster reborn, one six scrolls of the samurai, the air forces, one united, and one dojo. For the extra deck, Nurturia Beast to negate spells, Ancient Fairy Dragon, which the reason why I put it in here because of her effect, the special summon a level 4 lower monster. But you cannot conduct the battle phase until you activate this effect. Red Dragon Archfiend to get over monsters. Stardust Dragon for the gates. Blackwell's Dragon if I need to blow up the field. Driven Daredevil because he cannot be destroyed by battle with a monster with higher attack. And he destroys the monster. Blackwing Dragon again just because it's a higher level. It has higher attack. And Sheehan. That's for the Synchros. For the Xyz. Volcasaurus, because there's a lot of level 5s you can use to go into him. Shien, mostly for counters and to boost up Kageki. Abyss Dweller to negate graveyard effects, in case you want to use it against E-Dragons. Digusto Emerald, it's like your pot of avarice in the deck, and you get a free draw and he's still able for battle too. Blade Armor Ninja, to attack twice, and if you want to get a Samurai in the grave to recycle for the counters, one Zen mains, in case you open up with Kageki and one at level 3, and then Giga Brilliant to boost up your Samurai more. I would like to know in the comments what you think of the deck so far. It's still being built, so when it's finished, I will upload a, a finalized build of the deck. And some things that people might wonder if they play Sam's is why I only play. Let me see, I'm sorry, wait. Two Elders, one Kagemusha, no asceticism or any of the main cards. Because one, not having access to it, and two, being able to recycle them a lot with all the counties. Because opening up with Dojo, United, and Gateway pretty much guarantees I get to recycle the cards mostly. And when you set up the field with most of your plays out already, they're not really going to get able to go over you. And if you need to, the side deck, I do not have the side deck near me now, so I apologize. But in the side deck, I add, let me see if I have it. I'm very sorry. Wait. If you need to, I would add Herald G Quest for the side deck, what I usually have. A Zen Meister, an Ouroboros, and Levaya. Only because Anishi. The, six, the legendary six samurai Nishi is a compulse, is like a moving compulsory, but he requires you to banish the samurai. And with as many level threes as there is in the deck, you use Levier to return them to your hand. 
like to the field and get your token, your Bushido counters, sorry. So you use and for Chancellor you still have to banish. So if you don't have a necro face or something to return them, put Levier in the side deck if you have a problem with them being banished. Overlay for Levier. Quickly return one. Go into an aura boss to just turn your monster back to hand. You could also you could return their monster to go for game if you have it. And also Zen Meister, just because he has 2600 with all his equip, all his side Exceeds materials and Hell Energy Quest to negate other effects in case they have, say, Draco Sack on the field. You have to get over it and you use Hell Energy Quest to negate it and take his effect. So, for the deck, I will add extra cards and show the complete deck build after. This, like how cards you don't really need in the deck that I would say you could probably take out. A Forces. Maybe Solidarity if you want. You could take out Dual Wield if you want. Thunder Blast if you want. It's a personal build, but you could switch those out in favor to make it a faster build. But the Gores is only there for if you end up with no field. Quickly drop a Gores. And since it's a level 7, if you draw into Squire, Sync will summon into Archfiend and you have a 3000 Beetle on the field with the Gore's token if you still, if you took a chunk of damage you have two high level monsters for that turn until you draw into one of your plays. I know you usually would want Barkeon in the deck but I don't really feel a need for Barkeon. You could exchange Daredevil or one of the dragons for Barkeon though. Blackwing Dragon I actually would take out if you want for Barkeon. Only because you don't really take effect damage that much. And 8 stars for 2800 or 8 stars for 3000. I would personally go with Archfiend more than the Black Rose. But it's just my personal build to want to have the 5 dragons in it. And Daredevil you also could take out. But he's mostly in there because his ability to put a counter on a card. And if you just need one counter to start a chain or something. It's good to have him just for that. And because with the counter, he's a 1900 beater, so say they have uh, a Thunder King on the field, summon him, kill them both, then go for your plays. But anyway, that's my build for my 6 Samurai deck for now. And actually, to explain a little more of the deck, actually, I'm sorry, which you might think is a weird build, though. Like, why I won one Yorizer, one of the Sams, two Grandmasters, it's mostly because, so you have a Grandmaster on the field. You have one in your hand, but you need two more to two more Bushido counters to get out one of your plays, like a Shion or something. You tribute the Grandmaster and summon that one. You lost one card but gained the two Bushido counters. So, say you have a level three on the field and you need to draw a Kagemusha. Move the four counters and get out the card by having Kageki, Musha. Sync up. You gain six counters off of that one ma Grandmaster. So you did kind of go minus when you tributed it for another Grandmaster. But when you gain the six Bushido counters afterwards, it still makes it useful. Like, wanting, only having two Elders and one Kagemusha might seem bad, but being able to recycle them with Emerald, since I don't have more than one of each, or two of that and one of each, one of them, um, Kagemusha, Emerald being able to recycle is very helpful. And I'm not entirely sure, correct me if I'm wrong, but say you lose Sheehan, you don't have a Reborn, you don't have a Call of the Haunted, nothing to bring her back. You don't have enough Bushido counters. I, I think Emerald can return it to the extra deck, along with two cards to your main deck. So that would make Emerald even more useful if you lose Sheehan somehow, say, it's summoned and they use Solemn Warning. Well, now it's gone. Emerald returns that to the extra deck, and two Kizons or any two Samwise or anything you need to your main deck. Anyway, that's my Sam build. Tell me what you think in the comments section. This is my first time doing a deck build, so I'm sorry if it's long. I'm sorry that it wasn't really well prepared. I will upload a better deck build later today or tomorrow, depending on when the cards get here, to finish the deck. Anyway, that's the 6 Samurai deck build for March 2013 build. Thank you for watching, and comment for what you think I should need in the deck, or should I take out in the deck. Thank you.